What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to install mods on ETS2 on a Mac. As you see on my desktop, I have these three mods. These are the mods that I've um, been using for the past few days. They are good and this, the mods are by Jazzy Cat. He does excellent. We are downloading mods for us from ETS2.lt and the one, the one I'm using I've got a trailer and cargo box. By Jesse Cat. I'll leave that in the description so you can go get it. So, what you do is want to go to I'll go trash for shortcut. And then, what you want to do on the map, go Command Shift J and Command Shift G, my mistake. And then, what you want to do is hide whatever that's in your slash card is like applications or I'll put in the description. Then, you go to go. And then what you want to do is go go down and find your EGST folder. Find find your mod folder. Close your browser. And also these will come in a, a WAR file, so you need to etch that so I'll use it for that's it. And I suggest download part one first. Because what I did was I downloaded both one after the other, and the second one downloaded quicker. And nothing next strategy was. So what I suggest you do: download part one. It may take a while, depending on your internet connection, and then download part two, and then extract both, but not at the same time. And then what you would need: you need the English one, you need the part one and part two. So what you do now is you bring them, select them, bring them down, and put them in the mods folder. Why is it put into? Uh, I don't know why it did that, but just go into mod, and there you go. And then what you want to do? I'll close that. What you want to do when you drop and oops, about me, so that means it's loading. And then once that loaded, this will this will work on And then it was saying new mods in my manager, but because I've already put them in and that's playing field, as you see, they all work and they work. And because it is new ETS2 update, you need 1.26 mods to be work. And these are Steam Workshops mods as well. So, that's how you get your mods working on your shop. I'm not going to gameplay because my computer be not be able to handle recording and the gameplay at the same time. So, I'm just going to quit. So thank you guys for watching and soon I'll be making an intro for Husky HD and Husky Music HD. I'm not sure whether to do get a launch pad off Christmas. Depends how much money I'll get. But if not, I'll be upgrading my PS4 to 2 terabytes. So I'll be getting a, a DIY bundle on Amazon. Then I'll be doing a how-to video on Husky HD how to upgrade your hard drive on it. PS4 and how to install software etc. So that's all for today guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, 